Okay. Um. Hmm. What do I want to play or build? Not play. Do I want to build this game? As soon as Vayne starts moving, that's when I know Kha'Zix is going to be in top side. I just have to hope that my Singe knows what he's doing. And Kha'Zix, yep, there he is, because Vayne started moving. And Sims kills himself, unfortunately. We are not dreaming. Chase to your heart's content. An enemy has been slain. All things great and small. They really wanted me dead there. Hurry then, Esther. Hello, Samba. How you doing, buddy? You flash for that? How are you gonna ping me? You fu what? Oh, that's my fault. Hello? He killed? Does he have the damage? I don't know if he has the damage. I don't think he can catch her. Does he has flash? Oh no, he can. Okay. I didn't have faith in that. Oh, let's go. I didn't steal the kill on Smolder though, considering I did all the damage and he tried to flash the last hit. I didn't steal anything. I don't know. There are so People many are weird. Ways to die. On top of the fact that me personally, I'd rather a fed kindred than a fed Jin on my team. Maybe that's just me. Garner, please. I'm begging you.
Imagine if they would have just listened to me. Make him feel good about himself because he did good there. They, know will come. Yet they, are never prepared. they didn't have to push the wave there either, but they chose to. They really didn't have to push that wave, but I'm not. I'm not gonna complain because at the end of the day, it worked out. I need a little bit more gold. I thought Blue Buff's alive. Nice. That was clean. That was really clean for Skarner. They see me? Okay, I want to reset. That's fine. Fear makes the chase more fun. Oh no! He went. Go Infinity Edge first. I fucking respect it. We can fight him, that's fine. Jump peek. Hi. How you doing? Dude, that that's one of the things that I always laugh is when people are so scared to fight, like when the kindreds are out walking. I guess to be fair, everybody's like, I never see good kindreds, but it's like, bro, I do so much fucking damage right now. Like I'm so strong.
Oh my, he lives with like, dude, they keep living with like one health and if the Ari didn't hit me, I'd kill him too. It's okay though, they're dying. I can go be greedy this game because I'm so far ahead. So I'm gonna, even though crit's not good and not worth building, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do crit because I want to have fun. <laughs> That's genuinely my only actual reason. You start to play safe because you don't want to get shutdowns. Yeah, I mean, there's a, obviously you shouldn't play as aggressive as me, but I'm also just extremely cocky. But yeah, you have to make sure you use your advantage. Like, if you know you're strong, take duels, take fights. You're going to lose them a lot of the times when you're new to the champ and stuff, but, like, take a shit ton of duels and fights and stuff until you get used to it. Kindred is really strong. And as long as you combo right and things, you will melt almost anybody. And if you build right. I don't think we should go over here. I'm gonna be real with you. Oh, that charm might kill me. Oh, oh, I got the kill, but I do die. Oh, let's go, Joe. Good job. Dude, like, yeah, I die there, and it sucks that I die, but we got three kills for it. Plus, we got a grub, which one grub's not super worth, but we got a shutdown out of it, too. So, it's like, yeah, my KDA, oh, no, I died. That sucks. But I get a mark. Well, no, actually, I didn't get a mark there. I We get a one grub. We get a shutdown. And we get three kills for me. Yeah, I'll take that trade any fucking day of the week. Sucks, but at the end of the day, I still get gold. My team gets gold. Why would I not want that, you know? Like, one thing is, when you're new... Oh, okay, that was really nice. Um, When you're new, don't be a KDA player. Like, your KDA, yeah, everybody likes to have a good KDA. But at the end of the day, your KDA means dick all if you don't have any damage share and if you don't actually participate in the game. Like, I can get 10 kills by last hitting people who have 300 health. But it doesn't mean I played well. Me being 10 and 2 because I last hit people and didn't actually participate or do any damage doesn't mean I helped my team. Your KDA doesn't matter. I'm gonna probably die for this. This is a really stupid play. Like, this one by no means, th there's no good play to be had here. But, I ain't a bitch. That should not have worked by the way. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Like, just an example, obviously not everybody's, a, like, the boss, but the boss is a Challenger Scion player, if you don't know who he is. He's a Challenger Scion player who's, like, hit, like, top 10, and I, he might have hit top 1, I honestly don't know, but he hits Challenger every season, and people hate his play style because he, he's the one who kind of made inting Scion and things popular. He'll die, like, fucking 15 times in a game, and he climbs the Challenger and does it in Challenger lobbies. Because he understands that, like, he knows how to play his life and how to get, like, get the gold advantages and stuff. Now. It knows. 
Big flip. Big, big flip. I'm trying to keep my team's fucking morale high because I'm so sick of everybody on my team baby raging the second anything that isn't going their way. Jin, brother, where is your Storm Razor or your Shiv or anything? <laughs> like, I respect the build, but like, brother, where is your item? There are so many ways to die. Oh no. I might have baited him. I think. Ow, 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 ow. It marked the second it- oh my god, I didn't get the mark off of it. Collector? Here's the secret about Collector that a lot of people don't know. The Collector actually really hasn't really done much. Essence Reaver would have done the same thing, if not more. The enemies were low enough that the auto damage was going to kill them already, but the people think Collector actually activates because the big number pops up all the time. But realistically, Essence Reaver would have actually done the same thing. The Collector almost never activates on any champion except for like Briar. Just five percent, such a small number of health for, especially on squishy champions, that like the you overkill and you never actually see the damage really go off. If it only showed the the damage proc when the passive actually proc, you would uh people would stop building collector entirely. The only reason I like collector though is just because the uh the dirk early on feels nice because early game lethality is fucking stupid strong. This should be up. I can't get any more marks off normal jungle camps, anyways. So, I'll have to wait on that. Did I help him bot right? Because I, I'm just gonna con make sure I constantly get my experience things. Why did my, my E just refuse to go off there? Am I gonna attack him off or something? Oh, damn. If I had a Q up, I actually could have killed him. I think he burns. He burns. That's worth. I think you forget camps. Yeah, you have to make sure you're farming. Obviously, if you're getting as fed as I am, you don't have to farm as much, but you have to make sure you're farming, especially if you're in a normal game. Because even if you have good intentions, if I go to try to, like, say I go to try to gank and we get nothing done in the gank and I spend five minutes walking around getting no pressure, nothing done at all, then the enemy jungler is farming camps or killing somebody else on the other side of the map or getting an objective and then you fall behind in XP too. And so then you're behind in XP, you're behind in gold, you have no pressure, your lanes aren't ahead, so then you have nothing going for you as a team. Kind of a general rule of thumbs, like thumb is, if you are in one side of the jungle, try to clear your outer two camps or the like two side camps in that quadrant of the jungle like around the same time. So like for example, if say my blue, my gromp, and my wolves are up, kill the wolves and then the gromp, or kill the blue then gromp and wolves because you want to keep your uh, your normal camps spawning around each other and you want the quadrant to be spawning around each other, and not have like a forty five second gap between the camps. Like, see how both these camps are spawning right around each other? And both these camps are alive? And you that's why you either skip the buff and then go back to the buff, or you kill the buff and then go to the camps, because you don't want to have the timer that it took you between to kill the buff in between the camps. Because you want to be as efficient as possible when you're farming. Obviously, there's, you know, exceptions to this, or if you have to go counter gank and react to things, or go for an objective, or, you know, whatever. But if you're just farming, you just kind of want to try to keep the um, normal camps around the same spawn timer. To farm them as efficiently as you can. <laughs> he doesn't need help, does he? <laughs> Goodbye, Simba.
Like, if you're new to jungle, uh, a YouTuber named Vera Kayu, like V A R Y K Y U, I think that's how you spell it. Like, that he does a lot of informative jungle stuff that will help you get better at jungle. Like, he actually does useful informative stuff. Oh, and they DC. We win. Woo. Like, uh, I highly recommend looking at like Vera Kayu stuff if you're new to the game and you're trying to learn jungle and stuff, or you're just new to jungle. He can, like, the basics that you'll learn from that can get you to at least diamond if you're trying to actually climb and trying to learn. Oh, shit. I didn't change scene. Ah, here. Damage shards. Oh, star. There we go. Most damage in the game as expected. Did 10,000 more damage than Kha'Zix there. I did, about a th I did over 1,000 damage a minute there. <laughs> Damn. Over 1,000 DPM. Not bad, not bad. What did I end that game? I ended that game 17 and 5. Alright, let me take it. I can use that for another video at some point.